Hello and thank you for coming to this video today guys. It's my weekly Monday update video that happens to fall on a Tuesday once again because I'm a degenerate. But we're going to be going over a bunch of stuff today. We're going to be going over new partnerships with Emergo. We're going to be going over the Cardano Shelly Summit. We're going to be going over some FF testnet information. We're going to be going over a lot of stuff about my channel. A lot of stuff's going on. This is going to be a great video. I hope you guys all stay till the end. Before we jump into it, um, if you guys would check out my pay ADA stake pool, we're actually the number seventh on where to delegate on the adapools.org. So we're number seventh on where to delegate because of luck, but we're still number 278th out of all of them. Either way, I'm still really happy. We're at 4.25 million. Can we get to 5 million at the, after this video? Probably not, but I'm going to ask for it anyway. I would really like to see that. Uh, we've been doing really good lately with our 12.18% ROI. Really happy about that. And then before we jump into the video, I wanted to show you guys this ff.pooltool.io. It's pool tool, but it's for the FF testnet. So you guys can see if all of your pools are up to date, but you just got to remember that even though your pools might be up, they might have not claimed it because this is, um, you can just claim any pool on here. So your pool might not actually be claimed yet, but you guys can search on your, for your pools on here. You have many great pool operators on here like Pink Staking, Onyx Pool, and Shake Them Titties Girl. Um, I'm really happy to be working with all of you. Let's get to let's jump into the video. I also forgot to mention my new Discord server. If you guys need help with anything Cardano, if you're new to Cardano and you need to ask some questions and you want to get information from people that have been here for a while, um, feel free to join my Discord server. The link's going to be down below. Um, this is really, really important to me because I'm building a little bit of a community here on Discord because I'm not really a big fan of Telegram. Um, I, I just, I don't like it. So I've been building a little community and I've also been giving uh, Cardano node support, Cardano support, and then also just having some general chats and uh, just getting a lot of good ideas from everybody. And then also, if you guys would follow me on Twitter, I would really appreciate it. Um, I got 474 followers. So I've been staying pretty active on here. I've been giving you guys a bunch of updates and just keeping everybody informed on what I'm doing. But either way, I appreciate it. Also, if you left a like and a comment down below, it would help me out a lot. But now we're actually going to jump into it. Sorry for the long intro. You guys have probably already heard about the Cardano Virtual Summit, but I'm going to give you guys some more information about it. It's on July 2nd and 3rd. There's going to be a lot of content coming out from IOHK. Um, I think it's really going to be a cool event because it's it's the summit right before Shelly. And that's kind of how they're advertising it. I mean, on July 2nd and 3rd, they say that we're, we are holding a two-day virtual summit to mark the beginning of a new era for Cardano. So they're, they're, this, is, this is really big for Cardano. They're going to be announcing Shelly. They're probably going to be talking about a lot of stuff Gojin and then a lot of stuff Voltaire. Um, I think this is really important. I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff on my channel these, these two days. Uh, I may be doing like some live streams where we can kind of have a conversation while they're, uh, while they're talking about it because their, their comment section gets a little flooded. So I was thinking maybe I'll just live stream it and then just kind of put my face in the corner and then we'll uh, kind of do some reactions and stuff. But let me know what you guys think of that down below. Uh, there's a lot of cool people coming. Uh, I mean, you got the people call him the founder of the in internet, Benton Surf. Uh, that's really cool. He actually made a little video. And then we got Stephen Wolfram coming. That guy helped me out a lot in math class. He's the man. Uh, Charles is obviously going to be there. And then all the other important people from IOHK. And then I also wanted to show you guys this quick video from Vint Surf that he made. I mean, it's just, to me, this is really cool because I, I know how important this is to a lot of us. Um, to, this just feels like something great. I mean, uh, how decentralized Cardano is going to be and just, it just seems great. And it feels very fitting to have the creator of the internet on to announce this summit to bring on the new era for Shell. So I'm going to show you guys Hello. this video real quick. My name is Vince Cerf. I'm Google's chief internet evangelist. And in the course of my career, I built a number of things and I was part of the team that built the internet way back in 1973. The internet has turned out to be quite an enormous and globe-girdling platform. It's being used in a variety of ways, and it's being abused in a variety of ways, too. I'll be at the Cordano Summit July 2nd and 3rd. We'll be talking about the internet, its history, its current uses, some of its abuses, and where it might be headed in the future. So I hope you can join me July 2nd or July 3rd. See you there. 
really happy about that and I plan to see you guys there. I apologize if you got any screen tearing issues on that last part. Uh, I've been balls deep in Linux lately, so I have to use uh, different recording software and I'm trying to work all that out, but I'm sure it'll all be figured out soon, so I'll get rid of all these issues. Um, I've really been working a lot lately on the technical side of this stuff, so a lot of my stuff is gonna be smoother uh, and nicer, and then I also have got a webcam too, so sorry about that. It's all gonna be fixed, I promised. And then, um, so the next thing I want to talk about is the Shelly rollout weekly update. This is from IOHK Tim. I'm assuming Tim Harrison. He's the one who does all the stuff like this. Shout out to him. I love that guy. Um, he's talking about a lot of important stuff. So this week, uh, the wallet, the wallet thing, the wallet for the Haskell test net's going to be coming out. So that means you guys as ADA holders, if you're not really interested in a stake pool, what you can do is you can download this wallet and you can stake to my pool and you won't be paid anything for it. But it's really, really important because we need to put a load on the network. We need to add a lot of congestion so we can actually test the system uh, before it comes out next month. So I'm going to go ahead and read what he said here. I think it's really important. Uh, he talks about what they're doing and then kind of building this wallet for you guys. So he says, on the development side, we've had a great week. We've ended the first part of our crucial sprint, which wrap ups and starts to integrate all the efforts made by eight distinct teams. We have not encouraged, encountered any ma major bugs or blockers, so we remain confident in the milestones we announced at the end of May. So this is really important that they're saying, because remember, they said that they're going to do that hard fork. Uh, off the top of my head, I want to say July 4th to 8th. Um, and they said that there, there is a little wiggle room on there. If we don't run into is any issues, they're going to push that back a week. So this is cool because they're saying that we have not ran into any major bugs or blockers, so we're remaining confident about the date that we were given. Um, if you guys need more information on those dates, I have a video that goes over all those dates. Um, our technical and monetary parameter analysis significantly enhanced and steered by testnet and community feedback is bearing fruit and helping us set some working assumptions which, which to start. We are also slowly rebalancing some development efforts towards integration with Gojin era features. That's also really cool. Our development efforts this week have, have been also focused on the first wallet release next week. This is what I was just talking about. Here's how that will happen. The wallet backend team has been very busy implementing the next set of features that will in time allow Shelly functionality from within Daedalus. On the test net, this will happen in a series of iterations. Coming up next week, a simple test wallet along with some exercises and scripts will be released to our Pioneer stake pools to test backend integration. This will at first contain just core features needed for initial transaction testing. We'll be asking our pool operators to test things like creating a wallet, submitting Shelly transactions to send ADA between addresses, funding a pledge address, and so on. Once we are happy with the core functionality and that everything's been properly tested, we will next turn our attention to the first wallet for regular ADA holders to try out. So that may not happen this week, it may not, it may happen next week, but I'm gonna keep you guys up to date on all that. And because I want you guys to actually participate in this, I'm gonna make a video showing you guys how to delegate your ADA to any pool so we can put some congestion on the network. But you guys will just have to wait for that video and then also be posting on my Discord. So the Daedalus Flight Program is our inspiration here to start implementing, so they're saying that they're gonna be making these releases pretty often, to start implementing the UI features for Shelly. We plan to start this also next week, but remember, this is the test net, so dates are always indicative. So what they're saying is these dates are not set in stone, that's why it could be this week, it could be next week. Um, and then they say this week we have also delivered some minor updates on Node CLI based on community and QA feedback. Major upgrades on Cardano DB Sync are being implemented that will upgrade the Blockchain Explorer back backend with Shelly specific features. So for stake pool operators, this is important information because they're rolling out some node CLI changes. I actually ran, I was helping another operator today set up his pool and um, they actually updated the Cardano node guide. So if you're using the guide today and you haven't updated to the new CLI, there's gonna be some discrepancies there. Um, they updated Cardano CLI, and when we were trying to get this guy's node up and running, we were on the old version of Cardano CLI, and they changed a couple commands. So the final, uh, creating a certificate for the stake pool, we ran into some issues there, but that was just because they changed a little bit of the command. It was still the same process, but the, the name was a slightly different. So if you guys are having issues, make sure you're on the correct version of Cardano CLI uh, when you're using their guide. 
So that's what I want to show you from this. I thought that was pretty cool. And they're also going to go over what's happening next week. So next week is really wallet week. First delivering the basic version to our staple stay pool pioneers, which is me. And then after a period of testing and QAing, the more advanced features, preparing the first Stateless wallet candidate for you, the ADA holder, to try. The next week or so really marks the migration towards a test net that everyone can start to get involved in. This is what I really want. Like I said, I've, I've beat this over and over and over again. I want congestion on the network to see if anything happens. So also next week, the QA will be building up confidence from the main net candidate. We're also stepping up our engagement with exchanges. So they will make timely progress with their integration efforts. We'll be focusing on performance optimization after all integration efforts are done. Aside from all this, we will continue to look at ways we can optimize various KPIs and improve the overall user experience. Looking a little further ahead to July, we're also officially announced the Cardano Summit 2020 Shelley edition. We had honored, we had the honor of internet pioneer, the legendary event surf declare the summit open for registrations. Make sure you don't miss that event. This is kind of what I was talking about earlier. Uh, we are making good progress and currently tracking well against our published milestones with the test net. Anything can change. So these dates, ugh, these dates remain target targets, but confidence is currently high and the team is feeling positive. The wallet backend is being integrated and that basic wallet should be out early next week. Major testing efforts are providing validation of the right path and we have chosen with our former methods approach and we have nearly 200 stake pools, stake pools active. That all feels good, like a good week's work. Thanks as ever to all the pioneers and community members who are helping to make this all possible. See you next week. So I'm sorry for reading all that, but there is so much important information in there that I just wanted to read it word for word to give you that guy's information. Uh, I'll post this link down below. Remember, it's from Tim Harrison. Shout out to him. Uh, he's, he's, he does a lot for the community, so make sure you guys support him as much as you can. I also wanted to talk about IOHK becoming a member of the Hyperledger community. I think this is really cool. Um, IOHK is joining the Hyperledger to contribute to its growing suite of blockchain projects while employing the Hyperledger umbrella to provide visibility and share components of IOHK's interoperable framework. This is a collaborative effort. We want to foster and accelerate collective innovation and in industrial adoption of blockchain technologies. And then also the main point I wanted to read from here is why they are joining. I think this is where all the juicy information is. Hyperledger includes more than 250 companies, including many industry leaders in finance, banking, technology, and others. Becoming a part of this consortium uh, enables us to do two things, to collaborate and build synergies with others in this community and to refine our projects for further inoperability. By doing so, we hope to encourage the co-development of our protocols and products in line with the open source development philosophy. We are keen to gain deeper understanding of specific enterprise requirements from all these projects so we can construct better projects and attune our offering more accurately. We want to help shape the future of the enterprise blockchain ecosystem by leveraging blockchain technology for a more decentralized economy, both through products and solutions we engineer and everything that these, this frame, and everything that this framework represents. We believe that this collaborative spirit will drive innovation and adoption of blockchain over the next decade and beyond. So I thought that was really cool. Uh, you guys can take from that what you will, but I think this is really important for um, IOHK to start working with other companies and, and kind of get what they want. So because you have to you have to see what companies want before you can start building products and making sure the inoperability happens. But this is really cool. Um, I also wanted to go into a couple more partnerships that Emergo got. I also wanted to go over Emergo's partnership with Ergo. Uh, this is There's a lot of juicy stuff in here, so let's start reading. Um, so we obviously know what Emergo is, and then it's the founding in entity of a globally recognized Cardano protocol. It announces today a strategic partnership with Ergo, a proof-of-work blockchain protocol built to be a platform for applications with a main focus on providing simple solutions for financial contracts with its UTXO-based smart contracts. Let me make that a little bigger for you guys. Designed and led by former IOHK engineers, Ergo places a high emphasis on offering customized privacy for stakeholders using, utilizing the network, long-term blockchain network sustainability, and decentralization options. The scope of this partnership ag agreement covers the joint exploration of a stable coin, R&D, and the provision of decentralized financial services applications by leveraging each other's respective expertise in Cardano's technical structures and privacy with UTXO-based smart contracts. 
It will also cover full integration and support of Ergo's native blockchain token, Erg, into your Roy wallet. So that's awesome. A secure light, yep, yeah, just explaining the uh, Ermergo wallet, Uroi. And then that will process various decentralized application requests and also enable the smooth transfer between token types issued on Cardano and Ada. And Ada. Erg will be the first cryptocurrency to be integrated into the Uroi wallet after Cardano's Ada. That's, that's awesome. I, I mean, what more do I have to say? <laughs> Uh, following the momentum of the recent launch of Emergo's traceability solution to meet the needs of enterprises, Emergo's strategic par partnership with Ergo aligns with the objective to also meet the increasing needs for ta tailored decentralized financial solutions moving forward. As the interest in building decentralized financial services grows in tandem with the overall blockchain industry, this partnership allows for a much needed deeper research and DeFi solutions development. These solutions will explore the usage of Ergo smart contracts that are embedded with privacy features and inoperable with Cardano's large global network. This will in turn offer developers, investors, and interested parties the flexibility to utilize Ergo's functionalities or to fully on-ramp onto larger blockchain systems such as Cardano. Currently, approximately $1 billion in total value is locked away in DeFi solutions with plenty of market size to grow as development matures. Use cases for DeFi solutions cover traditional financial services such as lending and borrowing, uh, digital tokenization of real world assets, and payments, among others. These solutions leverage blockchain technology to provide self-executing financial smart contracts upon meeting programmed stipulations and decentralization without a singular point of entity control. DeFi solutions open up access to financial services to a wider segment of population, offering inclusion and economic empowerment with a variety of decentralized solutions that are inoperable. So it seems to me that a lot of Ergo's uh, ideologies fall in line with um, Cardano's ideologies, and I think this is a per perfect partnership. Um, this is a natural strategic partnership that brings together the native strengths of our respective organizations for Emergo to continue developing innovative solutions in line with the rising demands for the decent decentralized finance services. We are also excited to have this partnership to start the expansion of Uroi's wallet services to a broader community. And that's from Ken, and that's Emergo's CEO. Uh, the last paragraph from read is, the partnership with Emergo, one of the founding entities of Cardano and a well-known and respected organization is an outstanding opportunity to explore the possibilities provided by the collaboration between our two protocols and teams with similar ethos. So just like I said earlier, similar ethos, ideologies, but distinct and complementary technology. Cardano is argu arguably, arguably the most academ academically rigorous and blockchain protocol in existence, and Emergo is a valuable technology partner for Ergo which has always prioritized a similarly research-driven approach to development. Meanwhile, the integration with Emergo's flagship Roy wallet will place Ergo before one of the largest user bases in the crypto space. In particular, our joint research into a new stablecoin protocol and DeFi services promise to provide exciting new avenues for development and commercial opportunities for both parties, their communities, and their business users. And that's from Alexander Shepernoy, the Ergo core developer. So that's all the information I want to go over in today's Cardano weekly recap. Uh, I want to hear from you guys. Do you like these videos? Should I keep making them? Um, if you made it this far, type in pay ADA stake pool in the comments down below. Remember comments really push my channel to uh, expose me to a wider audience. And that's not just um, like Cardano audience. It's, it's uh, the audience as a whole. So by pushing my videos, we're pushing Cardano in a way. But um, yeah, if you guys enjoy these weekly update videos, make sure you guys comment, pay ADA stake pool, or you can comment, keep these videos coming, because um, I don't get as much support on these as I do my stake pool operator videos. But just let me know. If you guys like these videos, I'll keep making them. But yep, that's all I had today. There was some really cool stuff. I'm really happy with the, uh, the new partnerships. And then also the talks about finally a stable coin. But I, I thought there's a lot of cool information coming out about Cardano. I'm really excited about the uh, summit. I'm really excited about everything going on. There's a lot of information coming out, so that's why I want to keep making these videos. But either way, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and happy Shelly.